Today we begin chapter 28 of Acts. We'll look at verses 1 through 6. Paul, along with those who were aboard the ship, have escaped to dry land and learned that the island in which they have found refuge is called Malta. They found the people of the island to be unusually kind, and they built a fire for them to warm themselves in the cold rain. As Paul was gathering sticks for the fire, a viper or snake appeared and bit him on the hand. Paul shook the viper off and into the fire as the natives watched and expected to see Paul drop dead, or at least swell up, believing that he must have been a murderer, and even though he was he survived the tempest of the sea, the justice would be served as this viper has latched itself onto his hand. But after Paul showed no signs of ill, the people decided that he must be a god. This is an example of God's power to preserve life. Paul, however, was not a god, but an ordinary man blessed by God. He was lending a hand, gathering sticks for the fire, and in the process was bitten by a snake, a viper, as the text tells us. As far as we can tell, Paul did not see the snake until it bit him. It appears that he was unaware that the snake was even there, but it lashed itself onto his hand and would have had plenty of time to unleash all of its poison into Paul. But he did not die. He showed no effects of the poisonous snake bite. God protected him. This does not mean that if we trust in God and put our faith in Him to protect us, that we can deliberately put ourselves in harm's way and expect to be safe. But God protected Paul from this viper and would use this event as a step to healing for many on the island before he would continue his journey to Rome. Dear Lord, please help us to see that when things get out of our control, that you are still there to help us throughout our lives. Please help us to see that we should not deliberately put ourselves in harm's way just to test you, but that you are in ultimate control of our lives and will see us through according to your will for each of our lives as we keep our focus on you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.